In our previous video, I talked about the one eyeshadow that you need to know how to apply to make everything else so much easier. And if you can apply that, then you can do any eye makeup look. Now we're gonna add one more shadow into the mix. Now this is even easier than applying the first shadow, but let's just recap on the first video so that you don't have to go back and watch two videos. What the first eyeshadow was doing was creating the shape, evening the skin tone, and if you compare it to the bare side, it's making the eye space look so much larger, all with just one eyeshadow and one brush. And this eyeshadow was a mixture between your blush, your bronzer, contour, even your favorite nude lipstick. It's all of those things in one. I like to use a tone that works with my natural skin tone when I do no makeup makeup looks, but if I want to do a full glam look, I will match this to my lipstick and my blush. Now let's prep the lids. I have very dry eyelids, so I find a very light sheer amount of primer or even just a matte concealer is great to create two things. One, the perfect base for the eyeshadow to hold onto, and two, an even layer for the eyeshadows to blend over. And I wanna show the difference between using an eyeshadow primer versus a concealer as a base, just to help you understand this. The difference in appearance isn't that obvious, though it's a little bit more pigmented. I even actually applied this eyeshadow wet so you can see the payoff is slightly different again from the prime and the non-prime side. But here's the test that I'm gonna do. I'm going to rub this with a dry cotton pad. This kind of represents the wear for a long period of time. Not that you're gonna be rubbing your eyes, but as you can see, they both disappear compared to the one where we used eyeshadow primer first. It's faded, yes, but the pigment is still there. Now we have a good base, let's talk about the parts of the eyes. For this particular look, we're just gonna be focusing on two areas, the lid, which can be visible or not when the eyes are open, and the other area is the crease. The crease really refers to this area blended upwards and fading into nothingness before it hits the brows. Now we're gonna be using a blending brush for this step. If you're new to makeup, pick up your brush and don't pick up any product. Just use a clean brush and blend this over the eyes. I want you to get used to the feel of it. Try this with your eyes open, with your eyes closed, so you can really feel the pressure and the movement of the brush. And then you can pick up a little bit of eyeshadow. Try to remember to tap off any excess, just so you're not over applying. And remember, don't blow on your brushes, always tap. I want you to try to keep your eyes open and look down in a mirror. This will allow you to see the shape that you're creating, but also give you access to the lid. We're gonna start in the crease line. I feel more comfortable holding the brush in the middle of the handle. I also hold the brush kind of like a pen, but a little bit more stretched out. My pinky and my ring finger are kind of kicked out for a little bit of balance. And my index finger is on top with the brush pinched between my middle and my thumb. You also wanna watch for the height of your hand. I like to keep my hand at about nose level with a slight tilt upwards. Now we're ready to apply. We're going to start to work into the crease line, sweeping over and back, and try keeping your eyes open so you can see the shape that you're creating. And think of this like contouring your face or shaping your cheeks with blush. You're basically following the natural curve and shape of the crease line. Now you can sweep over and back following the natural curve, and this is what we used to call the windscreen wiper motion. However, some people find that this can give it a muddy finish and be over blended, and people with mature skin feel like their lids are moving with them. So what I recommend for those people is doing little swirls as you work your way in, clockwise and anti-clockwise as you work inwards in one direction and swirl outwards in the other direction. And remember to keep your blend slightly tighter on that outer edge for a lifted appearance using the edge of the nose, eye and brow as a guide, but I do have videos on finding the right placement for you depending on your eye shape. I'll link them above and below. So now we have this area covered and this will give us the shape and the structure to create any eye makeup look that we want. If you can do this step and do it well, then all of your eye makeup looks are going to look spectacular. This is what we call a transition application or a mid-tone application. It's basically like contouring and shaping your eyes. Now, if I wanted to create a very natural look, I would just finish off by applying this all over the lid. And usually for a lid application, I would use a flat brush, but for a very natural finish, we're gonna keep with that fluffy brush and do a wash of eyeshadow all over the lid. A wash of shadow is basically like a sheer layer of shadow. And this creates one even tone all over the eye space. This will make your eyes look bigger. And on days when I don't wanna really wear makeup, this will just give me a little bit more tone, a little bit more structure, and it will help bring out my eyes a little bit more. But now we're gonna add a second eyeshadow. This shadow is the same tone as the previous one, but this has a shimmer, a little bit of glitter built into it. 
Now I find it best to apply with a flat brush and lay this flat on the lid and glide it. Flat brushes are great for painting on shimmer. If we were to use a fluffy brush, we'd be spreading this out a little bit too much. Think of it like if we used a fluffy brush to apply a highlighter on our cheeks, it would be very soft, it would cover a larger area, but for the eyes we want a little bit more concentration, so a flat brush is best for the eyelids. Now I'm still holding the brush like a pen and my middle ring finger and pinky are quite tight and clenched. This will just give us a little bit more grip and help guide the brush. And you can also see how my hand is high, but it's pulled off to the side. I'm pulling the eyeshadow across the lid horizontally. Now we don't wanna cover the entire space. We're just gonna focus on the lid, starting in the inner corner and bringing this out, leaving the crease area and above matte. Once I have an even layer all over the lid, you can then apply a little bit extra on the inner corner if you want to. And then I like to sweep a little bit underneath the lower lashes. I like to start in the middle, right below the pupil when you're looking straight in a mirror and then blend out and in. I then just finish with mascara and lashes. Now in my previous one, I talked about how when I use a matte eyeshadow, sometimes I don't even apply mascara. However, with shimmer on the lid, you do need a little bit of mascara or some darkness around the eyes. Otherwise the eyes can look quite dull, which I know sounds really strange because you're adding light to them, but you need a little bit of darkness to help bring out the eyes and the shimmer at the same time. Otherwise your eyes can get a little bit lost. But I really hope that you enjoyed this one. Try it out, practice, and I know that you will be a pro in no time and you're gonna be better than me. I'm sure all of your work is looking beautiful, but as always, my friends, I am here to help. So if you need any more advice, definitely let me know. And remember, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I will see you in the next one.